Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Geeky Crossin here, and today we have another video for the Sanrio Villagers Garden Ideas. So today is Etoile, and this is the area that we've got. So we've got her lovely pink little house here, and then I've got this sort of slight sort of cloud shaped bit of terraforming I've done behind the house, which we're going to decorate. And then we're going to decorate decorate the front yard as well. So we have a reasonable sized area. We're going to get started in the Island Designer app. And we're just going to get into this build. So I'm building this just next to the rest of my fairy core area on my island. Oh, look at her trying to catch the little butterfly. Oh. Okay. So we're going to go up and do this back area first. So I'm just going to go in with this white blanket pattern. And I'm going to lay this down just up here so yeah i just laid out a three by four rectangle of this path with the two different middle pieces used as well so i can only presume the um flick must be on my island right now because all my villagers are going around catching bugs so yeah now that i've got that um blanket down i'm just gonna put some flowers on each side so i'm gonna go with these little blue flowers on the right side and then I'm gonna go with in with little pink flowers on the left side looking back at this now because um, I do um, rec voice record I do record over the, the my design videos because I find it incredibly difficult to um, <laughs> design stuff and read all the items while talking and sound uh, like I speak fluent English so I do voice record over quite a few of my design videos um, and I really wish that I'd used the like the bed here and made like a stargazing area but there is another idea that you guys can use. Instead I'm using primarily the couch um, item up here as like the kind of seating area and then behind that I'm going to go in with two crescent moon chairs. So as you can see there, there was a little cut where I went and grabbed the set of crescent moon chairs. So again, I'm just going to use the blue on one side and pink on the other. So yeah, the main colours for this are blue, white, pink with little bits of yellow here and there. And that's the main colour scheme for this build. So sort of like just um, traditional fairy core and little twin stars colours. So yeah, I'm just trying to get these crescent moon chairs positioned correctly behind the couch where I want them. Um, it's a little bit of a struggle. I probably should have placed them down before I put the couch down, but you know. So I'm liking the basic shape of that. So once I got those positioned correctly, I'm now just uh, going to run around so I can work on the front again. So this bit up here is going to be quite symmetrical compared to the rest of it. So I decided that here I would use the opposite colours for the Nova Lights. So I would use the sort of purple on the blue side and the um, blue on the purple side so yeah I like how that looks so I'm just going to continue working and putting down the items around here so I'm just going to push the couch back to give myself a little bit more space because I don't necessarily want the crescent moon chairs to be used as seats but as decoration instead so now I'm just going to go down and place this Kiki and Lala table in front of the couch and I think this is really cute, but I don't really like that it's being totally hidden by the house. Um, but I'm just going to keep working on other stuff for now and see what else I'm going to be putting around. So I did grab these cinema roll tables and I use these in my My Melody build as well because I really, really like these. And I think they work with a lot of the uh, different furniture sets for the Sanrio characters. And then on the edges, I'm going to use mermaid lamps on both sides because, again, I think this goes quite well with the Kiki and Lala couch and furniture as well as the other Sanrio stuff because of the design and the colour scheme. So now I'm just going to place items on these tables. So I'm just going to put the pink cake on one side and the blue tea cosy on the other. Again, just keeping that sort of blue and pink theme going on. And I'm quite liking it. I think it's coming out really, really cute already, if I do say so myself. And I'm going to put a star clock on this table here, because I think it looks really cute. So I went ahead and built up this cliff here so I could place down the Kiki and Lala cloud maker behind the crescent moon chairs. So yeah, I'm just dragging this so it's um, 
central behind the crescent moon chairs and then I can climb down and destroy the uh, building around, destroy the cliffs around this to get it back to um, a similar or the same shape that I had before. Okay, so I'm really happy with the, how that looks now and I think it looks a lot better with a taller item behind the couch in the centre bit as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and place down these butterfly models on either side. So again, I picked up like a pink one and one that featured more blue on it. And then I decided I just wanted those lamps just pulled slightly out from the very edge. And um, yeah, so I'm super, super pleased with this. I think it's looking really, really good. And I think it looks super fairy cool and super magical. And I would love to chill out up here. I would love, an, I'd love it if I could have like a little area like that in real life. I think it was amazing. So um, I'm just gonna get down now. And this isn't actually gonna be like an accessible area on my island. It will be like aesthetic only, but that's mainly because of the um, small area that I had. I think if I'd had a bigger area, I would link it in more with my island so I could access it as a seating area. So yeah, I'm just gonna start on this area down at the bottom now, and I'm gonna go in with these white bricks I've been using in my fairy core builds. I will put the design codes down below, and as I've mentioned in a couple of videos, I'll be doing a design code video with all the design codes that I'll be using in my villager garden idea builds up until I start my new island, which will be really, really soon. So for this path, I'm alternating between the edges that have the leaves on and the plain ones, um, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'm just making it so it kind of goes in a more diagonal pattern, so it's not quite just straight. Now I'm gonna go in with some flowers on either side, and I'm gonna use some of the same flowers that I was using before. So on one side, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it more blue, and on the other side, it's gonna be more pink. So I'm just gonna go and gonna go around with some of these custom codes and decorate the ground a little. So as I said, I'm now switching to pink flowers, and I'm gonna go in on the right side with these. And um, please ignore the huge mess over to the right side. Um, that was an area that I was in the middle of taking down, and I've switched out. I've changed my custom pass, and the flowers have got like super overgrown. So please just pretend that it doesn't exist because I've totally been changing my island around for these videos because I've been really enjoying them and I've been enjoying setting up areas for them. And I've been taking down a pile of my items so that I can give them away before I start my new island, which is a topic I would quite like to talk to you guys quickly about. I was wondering. Um, if you guys would be interested if I went live at some point, it would probably, it would be probably over a month, but it would be like, um, if you guys would enjoy it if I went live and maybe planned my new island on the live stream and did like a huge giveaway of like bells, nook mile tickets, furnitures, um, like I, I've got like an insane amount of materials and star fragments and all stuff like that. And I don't want it to just go to waste. Um, but I don't know, um, if it would be worth it. So, you know, let me know in the comments if that's something that you would be interested in and if you think that would be a good idea. And if so, I'll have a little think about how I would do it. But I was thinking possibly I would do um, the giveaway, plan my island, um, and then depending on how long that goes on for, I could then maybe uh, start my new island on stream and just get it set up uh live for you guys so let me know down in the comments what you think about that i'll probably talk about this in a couple of other videos over the next couple of weeks as i get closer to wanting to start my new island so yeah we will go back to this now so i have planted a couple of flowers around and um, i'm now looking at items so i've got a collection of blue and pink versions of things so again i'm keeping the left side blue and the right side pink so i've got the cute sofas in blue and pink obviously so I'm just gonna place these on either side and I'm just gonna get some of the items down and then I'll work around arranging them a little bit better I think so as you can see I've skipped forward quite a bit here I've planted a couple more trees around and I've got a couple more items to work with and so I've skipped us to really early in the morning because I quite like this time of day so over here I'm just gonna now 
um, position this couch. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. And then I was going to place the table here. And then I decided that I was going to turn the couch around. Because I just prefer couches facing this way. So that you can get a cute picture set on them. So I'm just going to put it slightly under that cherry blossom tree. Because I'm doing this in April. And I'm going to place down a pink cute table next to it. And I'm going to put the blue cute table next to the blue couch. I really like the cute range of furniture in Animal Crossing. I think it's really, really sweet and, as the name says, super cute. And I really do like the couches and I think they look really, really sweet outdoors. So I'm just placing down... Um, I've, I've got like a mixture of blue and pink little items to place on the tables and things. So for the blue side, I picked up this little blue coffee cup. And I've got a pink one for the pink side. So I'm just going to go and place that down. And I'm just kind of working on both sides um, simultaneously. Just so I can work out what level of symmetry I want and things like that. Because I don't want them to be the exact same. Because obviously I don't even ha I don't have the same space to work with. But I do want the items um, to be quite similar on both sides. So I'm going to go around and plant a couple more flowers. And I'm mainly using hyacinths because I think they look really, really good in fairy core builds. And I just think they're, they're, well, they're definitely my favourite flowers in the game. The blue, pink and white hyacinths I think are just absolutely gorgeous. And then whenever I work on a fall area, I love using the yellow, orange and red ones as well. So yeah, I'm a big hyacinth stan. So I'm quite pleased with how this looks so far. I have also planted a couple more trees around. Um, mainly just to distract you from the mess that is further to the right of them. And now I'm just going to move some of the furniture around because I really wanted to place um, the kids' tents down. So, as you can expect, I got a pink one and a blue one. Um, and I'm, I think these look really, really cute. And um, because this is like nighttime build and it's like, you know, stargazing and... Um, things like that. I wanted to kind of demonstrate that a bit further with the tents and things. Um, as you can see, I've also decorated um, the bit, the little bit of cliff, the messy cliff to the left, just with some flowers and a bit of mermaid fencing so it ties in with the colours and things. And I've just used a mixture of all different blue and pink flowers with a couple of yellow ones thrown in, just like the accents on the little twin stars, um, like accessory and the couch and things like that. So as you can see, I picked up like a blue potted plant for the left side and as I'm sure you've guessed, I picked up a pink one for the right side. I just picked a different plant as well. I didn't want the items to be too similar and I also didn't have a pink version of the potted plant. So I do have one of my um, resident houses totally blocking some of this build, which is um, a little bit annoying, but it doesn't, it doesn't interfere in the pictures or the build or anything and I'm going to move it um, in the future. So I've put that blue chair uh, there. And I'm just going to move it up a little bit so it's right next to the tent. And then on this side, I'm just going to put the pink chair uh, over here under the tree. And then I'm also going to um, see if I can maybe build a little bit more mermaid fencing. Just for the background of stuff to give the build a little bit more dimension and also... Uh, have the colours continuously fitting in throughout it and I really I've never used the mermaid fence in a build before but I think it works with the little twin stars stuff because it's got the pink and the blue on it um, and I think it's got little bits of yellow on as well which is really really sweet yeah I find the mermaid fencing quite often looks really really awkward in a lot of builds uh, well whenever I've tried it I think it looks a little bit awkward um, and I don't tend to get on very well with it so yeah I'm just building this out to there for photos and things and accidentally exposing a bit more of my horrible mess to the right. There's Rilla just walking around. I, do, I don't like Rilla. She doesn't... She, She's not awful, but she's not my favourite. So yeah, as you can see, I've added a little bit more fence to the... Um, closest to the camera as well. So I decided that I, would, I wanted the tent to be kind of nestled into the cliff a little bit more. So I'm just going to move this round. And then I'm going to pick up the chair and just take that so it's next to the tent and then I also put the Kiki and Lala cloud maker up here because I think it's adorable and it's de I think it's definitely my favorite item in the furniture range although this sofa is pretty awesome too to be honest I don't know why I didn't leave it there it looked pretty cute so I'm gonna try the sofa here and see what that looks like 
And I think that looks pretty cute, kind of making like a bigger area up here because there was quite a bit of empty space. So I'm quite pleased with the way that looks now. Um, it kind of makes her a bit more going, makes it so there's a bit more going on. Yeah, so I am really, really happy with the way this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and take some aesthetic shots for you guys and show you what it looks like. Um, I hope you guys liked this one. I always love doing a fairy core build as pink is my pink and blue are my favorite colors. So this was really up my street. And in my next island, I'm definitely going to be doing something similar but more extravagant than this for an, a little area, I think. Um, I've got a million ideas and I really can't wait to put them into action. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and um, subscribe to see more similar content and please comment as well because it super helps me out and I love seeing what you guys think of my builds so thank you and I will see you in the next one